hello viewers yeah, welcome back once again to my channel and you know on this channel i teach you helpful information that will be profitable to you as an entrepreneur and as a business person so today i'm actually going to be teaching you how you can create a profitable and standard facebook advert using your smartphone yes how you can create a standard and profitable facebook advert using your smartphone and you know before now most persons don't believe that they can actually create a profitable um, and the standard facebook are using their smartphone their mobile phone and it's actually like that because before now it was a kind of very difficult for you to create a standard um, facebook advert with your smartphone the only thing that we are able to do or you can be able to do well is just to post um, whatever post that you have made and uh, then if you want to create a standard facebook advert you now make use of your uh, laptop your system or your desktop but now because of a lot of updates new features have been added it's now very very possible for you to create a standard and profitable facebook advert using your smartphone so today in this video i'm going to show you a practical way that you can do that that you will assess everything that you have going to assess that you would have assessed rather when you are using your laptop i'm going to show you how to assess it with just your mobile phone meaning that you are no longer limited on how you can run your events you cut if you don't have a laptop so first thing before we start i want to know if this is your first time of visiting this channel if this is your first time please do us a favor do me a favor kindly click on the subscribe button below this video and smash on the notification icon so that whenever i release an awesome video such as this um youtube will actually notify you about that and also if this video is helpful if you find this video very helpful please also like this video share this video so that it will help this video to rank very very well on youtube so before we go that um the first thing you need to do is to have um i'll come to my play store the first thing you need to do is that you need to download the application because um facebook advert can't um actually be run um very well using your normal facebook uh, app like the facebook light or the normal facebook app that we all know no you can't run a good and standard advert using that particular platform so we are going to download an app for that that we are going to be using and that is a uh, what we we'll call the ads manager so you come to this place tap is search for ads manager got it here so you can see it on my screen meta ads manager so and what you can actually see in this place you will see that you telling me open and it's telling me this open because i have the application already installed in my phone so if it's not already installed what you'll be seeing that place is um download so because i have it already that's why it's showing me open so what i'm going to do is that i'll go ahead and open this um, application on my phone once it is open um if uh, it's your first time of using it once you click on it if you already logged in in your normal facebook app that you have in your phone it will synchronize and uh, synchronize to that account and link it to this app here once you log in but because i'm already logged in here and it's already synchronized on my own so it, just, it didn't take me to that area so once you come to this place the first thing you need to know is that you cannot also run a facebook advert without having a page so you must create um you must create a page on your facebook account so because the advert that you are going to be running will be run on a particular page and their page is just uh, more or less like a sign post or a digital sign post that test tape about your business and you cannot run it and uh, you can't place an advert without having a normal signboard if it's in a physical one now so that is how it is done here as well so before you run an advert you must have a page so if you don't have a page you go to your facebook account and then uh, create one depending on the name and some other things that the page represents but because I have pages created already that I'm using for my advert, so what I need to do is to come to this downside. Here you have this plus icon. You can see we are circle where you have plus icon. So all you just need to do 
is to tap on that plus icon and then this is how you create a facebook advert so once it appears here you can see this place uh, you can see the name there i will change this page i don't want to use this page this is the page that uh, where you select the page you want to use so i'm going to be using this one tag them um, the affordable so this is the name of the page i'm going to be using to run this advert so once you have selected the page where the advert will run the next thing you will see here you will see post engagement video views and um, website traffic reach website conversion messages page like event responses so let me briefly explain most of this um, ad, um, um these options here so that we we'll get it so post engagement is actually if we are running an ad to get engagement in a particular post you have made on your page you want people to engage with that post like it comment on it then this is you will now go for post engagement it will help facebook to know that okay what this advertiser is trying to do is that he or she want people to engage in this particular post so it will help facebook to um show this advert to people who are likely to engage on that particular post so that is why you need to get your objective right so here is what we call objective where you choose the objective of the advert you want to run what actually is the objective the aim your mindset your mind the main people is why you want to run the ad so that is where you have to select it. Then the second one is video videos, probably for those people that are, are doing uh, maybe video content, comedy, and maybe they want to advertise that particular video so that many people will know about it. Then you can come for video view and select video view. So it will help Facebook to so show those um, that particular advert to those people that always watch videos frequently. So that is why if you get your objective wrong, uh, you will end up um, losing money in your advert because it will not convert so you must let facebook know your purpose the main aim your objective for running that ad reach is that you want to reach a lot of persons you want as many persons uh, as possible that are on facebook to know about whatever you are advertising the website conversion is when you are actually trying to send people to your website and in this case you there is a place where you will attach the website link and so that when people see it, click on it, they will now, it will now redirect them to that particular website that you want them to go and uh, maybe go and check out whatever that is there. The message is, is to get more people to message you either via Messenger or WhatsApp or Instagram. So you want people to message you, maybe to ask you for uh, inquiring or all the rest of it. Then for page like, page like is uh, you want more you want a lot of persons to like your page so you're advertising to tell facebook that you want people to click to like this page then uh, event response to get more people to see and respond to whatever event is that maybe i want I'm, i have an event that is coming up maybe let's say a seminar and then um, i can now use event response to advertise so that people will respond to their event either they to let me know if they are coming or not and there so having said that um, we'll be using reach so i will click on reach once i click on reach um select it uh, i think it's okay it's coming it's loading up so remember if this video is helpful please do where to subscribe and also turn the bell notification icon and also like this video like this video share this video so that it will help it to rank on youtube so uh, this is um the second stage where you need to select the picture that will show on the advert so if you see this place um if this is not this picture because this is the um my picture of the page picture that is showing on the page so if this is not the picture you want to use you can come to this place we have change image and click on it and it will take it to where you select um, images you have seen images that are already on my page you can still come to add images once you come to add images you can click on that to get more images that you it's me i assume that i want to set this wrist watch so i'm going to be selecting um this wrist watch so this is what i want to sell i want to set this wrist watch 
and I want to advertise it. So this is for people that are using image. But if you are using video, if what you have is video, then you come to this place. You have single. Let me go back so that you see it. This place that you have um, single image format. So once you come to that place, you have single image format. Click on it. You will see single image. That's what I'm using. So if you want to use video, you come to uh, where you have um, single video. So this is the one you will select and it will change to a video for for you. But here we are using image. So I'm good with this image. I've uh, uploaded the image I want to advertise. So the next thing is to um, the next thing is to click on this next. So it will bring me to this place. And once it brings me to this place, this is where I need to um, add my placement and how I want it to be on the app. So here you have the headline. This is the headline you want it to carry. If there is a particular headline you want it to be, you can add it here. If not, then you just add your, it will be the uh, name of the page. If you don't add any headline, then you come here and add them. Um, Test. This is called primary test. Sometimes when you run an ad on Facebook or when you see an ad, there is a, a kind of a text description of about the advert that goes with that particular ad. So this is where you add it. So I can come here and write a small little description about it. I can say, um, get this man, this men's men's quality this men's quality stand stand less list watch at for at affordable price to so get this main quality uh, stainless in add water this is the resistance get this Men's quality stainless water resistant wristwatch at an affordable an affordable price. So you say click on the link below to order order for it now and i can come below and tap my phone number I can say zero seven zero one two three four five six seven eight nine zero so i'm just this is not a real number i'm just forging this tool to show you um this is actually what we call call to action so is either they click on the link or they can easily get your number here and contact you if um they actually want the wrist watch so having um written a little description so what you just need on your own you must have um, a clear description about what you're advertising this is not a clear this i'm just formulated this one now of course if i'm advertising this one this is not what i'm going to be used it must be catchy uh, it must pass um, a message that will make the people to take action so once i've written that so remember we are told you about the website now look at it of course if there is no website you can say no website but if you have a website probably is um, a landing page just copy the link to that landing page and place it here so that is so that when they click on that um order now or whatever or contact us now it will take them to that landing page where they will now go and read more about the product or if you are not using a landing page to run 
let's say it's the website direct your direct website link you copy it and put it here as well then if is you are running the um advert to your di whatsapp directly all you just need is to copy your whatsapp link and then place it in this particular place so for now i'm going to formulate a link let me say www dot um uh, for affordable.com okay, let me say let me add the affordable.com so let's assume this is the left side link so call to action is a uh, what would display there what actually action do you want them to to take is it on shop now book now learn more sign up download of course um yeah i'm selling a physical product which is wrist watch i'm going to choose shop now so once i choose shop now um then i will go over to the next one which is a special act delivery you just leave that one then go over to and uh, you go over to placement this place you have placement you come to this place and select the places you want this ad to show if not you just end up wasting a lot of money advertising for people that don't need it so you come to this placement and um, click on this it will take you to different placements if you watch um the placement here is on all uh, automatic which is what the Facebook advert has recommended for you. But no, we are not going to be using the recommended one. We are going to choose by ourselves where we want this ad to display. So we are going to click on this. Um, we are going to click on this one, which is manual. So we are not going for any... This thing. We are clicking on this manual. And if you watch, we say Instagram. So on the Instagram, I'm going to say Instagram page and all the rest of them. Then device type, desktop and mobile. Yes, let it be shown on desktop and mobile. Then on which platforms do you want this advert to show? Um, which is um, this particular one. And uh, remember, why this one you are seeing it is because you know Facebook is the same person they are they own whatsapp they own instagram so you can be advertised on facebook and it will be showing on instagram you can as well advertise on instagram and it will be showing um on facebook anybody that is on facebook will get to see it so this is here where you actually connect that but for me i don't want to advertise on both platforms so i'm going to come to um, these platforms and then first thing i will come to facebook yeah you see facebook and i'll click on it once i click on facebook i will select on different places i wanted to advertise so i'll click instant article i will say no don't show an instant article instant videos no i don't want it to show it's a waste of money i don't have anything to do there marketplace no don't show this advert on marketplace stories no don't show it on stories so you can leave video feeds and not feeds the feed is normally when you are scrolling on facebook you are going to be seeing those adverts the video feed is when you are watching videos on those video platforms and you see it but sometimes i don't even use it i normally um choose only feeds so once i'm done i'll select done here yeah? then i'll go to instagram which is this next one click on instagram the same thing uh, this one I'm not advertising. I, I did not link my Instagram account to my Facebook so that it will be showing there. So no need. I will just clear all. Oh, I'm not advertising anything here. I don't show to people on Instagram. I only want people on Facebook. Here the same thing. Audience network. I will say clear all. Oh, and then um, okay. Then Messenger. No, don't show advertise people on their inboxes. I don't want that. So okay. So I only selected facebook and that is where you are seeing um this place now this place you can see some 
is because I selected uh, let me come again I want to point it out so that you will see it this particular place so the particular place here you have Facebook you can see it's showing some why this place is is none meaning that my ad is not going to be shown on this other platform It's only on some places on Facebook that the ad is going to show so after that I will say yes so this is um, how the ad will look like are you seeing it this is how it will look like so once you click on shop now um, it will take you to this website which is not actually a real website and this is not a real website you can see it i just formulated it it's not a real one so had it been that um this website exists once you click on shop night to take you to this website so if your own what you have inputted there is maybe your landing page a link or your website link or your whatsapp link it will automatically redirect them to that particular place so you can see the test that we inputted here you can see it so this is a preview of how the ad will look like so next thing is we are going to come to this place and say next and once we click on next um it will now bring at the audience this is where you will select the particular set of people you want this advert to be shown here we call it audience targeting you will not take facebook the particular set of persons you want this advert to uh, you want them to show this advert so this is if you miss um selecting the right audience the right target then the uh, facebook will show your ad to uh, people that are not relevant, people that will not actually take action on this. So, you can see is either you select, if you want to do a retargeting ad, you can see people that have liked your page, you can select it. If you even click more, you can see people who engage with your page. So, if your page has gotten a lot of um, audience, it has grown to an extent, a lot of engagement has been there, you can target those people that have visited your page those people that have uh, taken action on your page those people that like your page or that have engaged with your page so this is where you select those ones and it's normally to retarget those people that have shown interest in what you are doing on your page meaning that they are interested in what that page is talking about then here here you have um you have um let me show you you have update audience here you can see it so this is because i have created an audience before that i was using to run my own advert but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to create a new audience here you will see it here create a new audience that is the people you want this ad to show to so this is where i'm coming now so all i need is to click on this icon man here and it will take me to where I will select the people and I want. If you watch, the first one you are seeing here is the location. So it's in Nigeria. If probably you don't want to target everybody, you don't want the audience to be so broad because of uh, because the, 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 the higher the audience size, the higher money you tend to spend. So if you want the audience to be not to be that broad, you want it to be smaller, this is where you select it. You can come to here where you have location and you have Nigeria. You can see include this location so you can say okay um nigeria i can say okay i want to those in lagos state i can see it lagos nigeria i can select it i add another location i can say those in uh, import port harcourt those people in Port Nigeria can say yes. 
So depending on the places you want this ad to be shown, if you want it to shown only within the location where you are, you can also customize it. It's all about uh, you and where you want. Most often time, because of uh, distance, when I'm advertising in Lagos, I might not select um, pay, um, this advert to be shown to people in Port Harcourt. Except I have a delivery agent in Port Harcourt that will take these goods to those people there. Most times, I will just limit it within Lagos. Or if I'm in Port Harcourt, I will limit it within Port Harcourt, as the case may be. So once I'm done selecting this, I will come here and say yes. And the next one is the age bracket. So you can say on our age, we have 13 to 65. Normally, I use um, 22, but you can leave it at 20 or depending on you and what you are selling. When you look at what you are telling, you look at the age bracket of people that can afford to buy what you are selling. So for this, I can say from 20 years above, you can see it. Your gender, is it only male? I want it to this ad to be shown to or only female. But in this case, the ad needs to be shown to all gender. So I'll leave it to all gender then after that i will can come next to where we have um detail targeting detail targeted so this one has to do with uh, targeting a particular detail one people now uh, based on their behavior based on what they like based on that for what they are interested on so if, for instance if i click on this detail targeting now um you can see a lot of recent i can see people that have interest in sex in self-employment in real estate so depending on i can say okay let me say let me search for fashion people that have interest um fashion okay you can see it fashion accessory i can say yes add it okay fashion and blog fashion and lifestyle i can say add fashion and lifestyle i can say fashion and design you see all these things are based on you but sometimes uh, we don't do the uh, targeting sometimes it's just better for you to leave it at zero targeting meaning that you are not selecting any detail targeting the only thing you need to do is to select the location and boom you set up the ad there but if you feel that it's better you narrow the advert down to a specific uh, kind of person based on their interests or their behavior then we are good to go it's all um about your choice and how you want it to be so um after you must have that the next thing is say done and uh, to boom we have selected it already you can see it the audience size now from 20 years and above, Nigeria, in Lagos, Port Harcourt, then including people who watches fashion and style, fashion design, fashion accessory. Your estimated audience size is 9 million to 11 million people. So these are the likely people that are supposed to see this ad. So I'll come here and say next because I've selected that. So here is a budgeting, your campaign budgeting, where you select the amount of money you want to pay Facebook to advertise this product for you. So is the first, um, this advert a daily or a lifetime? Daily means that it run every day. The lifetime means that it run from now to anytime there is money there, you put it. But this is per day, per day. So I leave it on a daily basis. And how much I can come to this place and I say I want to advertise with 1,000 Naira every day. So I want them to be taking 1,000 Naira every day to show this product to the rose people I have selected. Run ads continuously, yes. Start what? Now. I don't want to start later, so I will start immediately. Once I finish setting up this ad, it should kick off immediately. So that is about that. So the delivery, um, when you come to the delivery, you see reach recommended. No, I don't want reach. I'm going to use impression because using impression means that the ad will sh be shown to people as much as possible. But reach is that um, maybe you should be shown to someone once in a day. But if I'm using impression, the ad can be shown to me three times a day once I'm on Facebook. So I want to be using impression. I don't want to use reach. Um... 
okay i've changed it to impression i'll say yes so after that so you will see below here they have telling me that you will spend no more than seven thousand naira per week because i selected one thousand naira so once i'm done with this then i have finally finished setting up my advert remember before now all these options now that uh, i have shown you how to select how to get a gratis was not able to you can it, it 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 was very difficult for you to get it done using your smart your smartphone your mobile phone before now except you are using a system but now there is a lot of updates new features have been added you can see that it's very possible for you to run um, a standard facebook ad using this uh, your smartphone or your mobile phone so remember to also like this video if you are finding this video helpful if this video is interesting like this video and also subscribe to this channel so that whenever i release an awesome video such as this you are going to be among the first set of people to receive notification so once i'm done setting up this i will go to next once i say next my ads have published my ad so you will see review order review order so it's going to be review and then finally the ad will be placed once they review it and find out that it did not go against their ad policy then the ad will be triggered and it will start running immediately so this is how you can actually do what um create a standard and profitable facebook advert using what using your mobile phone so you can see this is how the ad will look like so this is it this is it so once i click on place order they are going to review this ad and after that it will start running so thank you for watching this video um i'm glad that you did watch this video so you can now use your own smartphone to create your own facebook advert without being um, limited as a result of not having laptop Thank you once again. See you in our next video. Bye for now.